City dwellers are truly on the front lines of climate change. And across the globe, cities are also on the front lines of limiting the effects of that climate change. Beijing took the lead by banning the use of high sulfur coal for heating and cooking. Shanghai and other municipalities have followed. And the introduction of efficient electric-powered automobiles holds a great promise for countries around the world. After my remarks, I'm going to step outside and see some of the latest model battery-powered all-electric cars that an American company, Miles Automotive Group, is developing in partnership with the Chinese Automotive Technical and Research Center, or CADARC, the Chinese Electronic Technology Group Corporation, Li Shen Battery Company, and the city of Tianjin. I will be joined by the chair of the Miles Automotive Group, Miles Rubin, who is sitting right here. Miles, want to wave? And its president and chief operating officer, Kevin Cowley. Wave. There we go. As well as Chinese partners, Zhao Hong, director of CADAR, uh, Wang Shi Win, vice superintendent of Chinese Electronic Technology Group Corporation, uh, Wei Zheng Kao, general manager of Chengzhang Lei Xin Battery, Liang Ru, Deputy General Manager of Xingxiang Lei Xing Battery, and Wu, Zing, Wu Zozing, General Manager of uh, Chaizing uh, Keijiang uh, Changjiang Electronic Vehicle Company. Sorry for my pronunciation. <laughs> Assembled here in China, the cars they are making can be marketed to drivers in both our nations and in South America and the European Union as well. The result is a marriage of U.S. and China technology that is taking us forward towards 100% electric-powered vehicles that drastically reduce air pollution, cut carbon emissions, and are less expensive to operate. New York City, you should know, is also aggressively battling climate change. 